God will take care, you know, of the eventuality and we don't want to talk about negative things. So that is one thing which is very deep rooted in our society. We don't want to talk about death. The life insurance penetration in India is roughly 3 to 4 percent. This is an extremely small number and with time, hopefully, this number will pick up and benefit the masses. So this is the precise topic that we are going to discuss today on Finance Made Simple by Canara HSBC Life Insurance. And to talk about this topic, we have with us uh, Tarannu, who is the Chief Distribution Officer at the firm. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks, Akshay. So first question, why is the insurance penetration in India, especially life insurance, so low in our country? So I think there are very obvious reasons for that, Akshit, and very simple ones at that. Lack of awareness is the general one. One of the reason is, you know, we think that God will take care, you know, of the eventuality and we don't want to talk about negative things. So that is one thing which is very deep rooted in our society. We don't want to talk about death. So that also sort of, you know, and there is some lack of trust also. Mm -hmm. People think that maybe you'll never get it back. So these type of things are what is actually hampering the growth of life insurance and insurance in general across the country. All right, understood. So on this front, uh, to what extent can the insurance penetration grow in India? If you can give us like an estimate. So, you know, like we all know that the life insurance penetration is just about 3% and then overall it's about 4, 4.2%. So we have a very, very innovative, uh, you know, chairman at IID and now Mr. Debishish Panda, who has given us a vision that life insurance has to grow in five years from three to six percent, which is doubling the rate. Mm -hmm. And all of us are working very aggressively towards that. And a lot of measures we are taking to sort of, you know, ensure that we reach the masses and the rural the rural India, the Bharat is what I said, we're trying very aggressively to sell products there and come out with simple products so that those people also can understand and give low ticket size products. So there are government schemes also which you know the government has been really launching and taking a lot of interest in for example you know the flagship PMJJBY scheme which the government launched and we participate in that scheme mm -hmm. so we've enrolled close to 55 lakh lives in mm -hmm. that particular scheme and a lot of those are rural lives. So these type of schemes are, you know, there, which will help us reach this number, three to six. Mm -hmm. And we are working all very closely with the regulator to reach that 6%. So that's the vision. So I hope, you know, the number of 6% happens by 27. Right. So the ecosystem is there, uh, but at the same time, uh, the complexity associated with finance products is fairly high, especially life insurance. So specific strategies that you're using for customers who are not well versed with the entire system or who cannot understand like uh, the complexities associated with buying insurance. So how are you reaching out to that community? So I think uh, awareness is something which we all need to work towards. Like the insurance industry has to come together and work towards spreading awareness and also simplified products. So typically what happens is, you know, financial products mm -hmm. are complex. And the minute you tell even a very educated person, if you give him an insurance contract and ask him to decode it, I think he'll take a while to decode this. Mm -hmm. So I think the industry also is working actively towards simplified products and so is the regulator. We've done two, three things specifically towards this. A, that, you know, we have come out with a lot of simple products. Simple products in terms of, you know, not too much of underwriting involved. Mm -hmm. not too much of you know income requirement involved and small ticket size products mm -hmm. so it becomes very easy for a person who's really not you know very financially savvy and traditional guaranteed products because mm -hmm. one of the biggest problems customers have is what if i lose my money they equate it to maybe you know any investment in equity sometimes mm -hmm. so any product which we sell in the rural market we try to sell only traditional products because they come with a return guarantee capital protection so any customer who purchases it, you know, he feels his hard-earned money is protected. Mm -hmm. And we've also tied up with a lot of regional rural banks. Mm -hmm. So these regional rural banks actually operate in places where, you know, maybe you and I may have not visited very often. And they work with, what, one branch, one person network? Mm -hmm. That's the kind of setup they have. So we have roughly three and a half thousand branches of these kinds through RRBs. 
and there we actually sell these very low ticket size guaranteed simple products and the onboarding is instant so that really gives confidence to the customer that you know there and there i've sold a product i've bought it and i get all the details right there so some of these things have helped us increase our penetration into the rural market and we'll continuously work because uh, typically if you see insurance like you said sometimes you know it's the ease of onboarding in terms of documentation is very high mm -hmm. and if you actually go and sell a policy to an agriculturist you know he mm -hmm. may definitely not have an ITR mm -hmm. you know his requirements would be very different his documentation was very different we understand that mm -hmm. and we've tried to build our systems to match you know what they can provide us so this ecosystem building is definitely happening. Okay. Thank you so much, Saranum, for being on the show. I really enjoyed this conversation. I really hope that our audience has benefited from it. And the point of this entire conversation was to outline the fact that the insurance penetration in India is fairly low. It is picking up with time. Government is making a lot of efforts. Life insurance companies are making a lot of efforts. And with time, the divide between Bharat and India is going to go down. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you the next time. Canara HSBC Life Insurance. Promises ka partner.